Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will talk about an algorithm called as k nearest neighbor. This can be used for both regression problem and classification problem. Okay. So this will be coming in two or three parts. In this first video, we will I will introduce you to the algorithm. How do we go when we are dealing with regression and how do we approach when we are dealing with the classification problem. Okay. Then in my second video, or second part of this video, we will see the problems associated with the k nearest neighbor when we are using certain distance metrics. And in the third video, I will introduce you to the mathematical formula and the notations that we will be using for our implementation. Okay. And finally, I will be uh, providing you the video where I will be implementing the k nearest neighbor from scratch in Python. Okay. So let's start. <coughs> so k nearest neighbor is also called as instance based learning okay so when we say instance based learning we make use of the already available data set or the training examples that we have to determine the value of our query instance so this may sound a general way how all the supervised machine learning algorithms work but here the only thing that we have to optimize is this particular value k okay k k here stands for number of nearest neighbors number of nearest neighbors that we want to have okay so apart from this there are no parameters to learn so this can be also treated as our hyper parameter hyper parameter <coughs> okay now let's see what are the steps that are required to implement or to understand the k nearest neighbor algorithm okay so in order to start with, we will first read our data set. Okay. So our data set will look something like this. Each row will be one training example. Okay. One training example with n features and a target variable y. This can be either a class if it's a classification problem or this can be a continuous value if we are dealing with a regression problem. Okay. So we will have m training examples, n features and a target variable. Okay, so this is how we will have the data set and we will read them in our program. Once we have read that, we will be given with the query instance. So we will denote it as xq. So this is our query instance. Query instance. Okay. So for this particular query instance, we have to determine the value of y. If it's a class classification problem, we have to determine to which class this particular query instance belongs to. If it's a regression problem, we have to find out a regression value okay, for this query instance. Now, in order to find the value of the target variable, we will use some of the available training examples, not all of them. We will use only some of them and that some of them depends on the value of k that we are using. It can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 or any number. right? So, we will use those many nearest neighbors. So, how do we come to know that as the nearest neighbors? So, given any query instance, we will calculate the distance between this query instance and all of this m training examples that we have. Okay. Out of the distances that we have obtained for all these m training examples with this query instance, we will sort the distances in a ascending order. Okay. So, the nearest will be on top and the farthest will be towards the end. So, from that sorted order, we will pick this k number of nearest neighbors. Okay. Once we pick the k number of nearest neighbors, okay, all we have to do is if we have a classification problem in our hand, we have to check the majority class the k nearest neighbors belongs to. Uh, let's say if the majority of the k nearest neighbors belongs to positive class, we will assign this query instance to a positive class. Okay. Otherwise, if the majority of the k nearest neighbors belongs to negative class, we will assign this query instance to the negative class. So, this is when we use classification. If the problem is regression, let's say we have four nearest neighbors. Okay. In this case, k will be equal to four. And the value, uh, the target value of y associated with all these four instances, let's say 10, 20, 30, and 40. Okay. So, let's say this is the value, some hypothetical values. The y for our query instance then will be the average value of all the all of these neighbors okay so that is 10 plus 20 plus 30 plus 40 by 4 
right? So this will be 30 plus 30, 60 plus 40, 100. 100 by 4, you give us 25, right? So for our query instance, we will assign the value 25. Okay, so this is how we approach the regression problem. So mathematically, we will write the formula that is prediction for the query instance if this is a regression problem that is given by summation of all the target variables for the number of neighbors that we have given here. In this case, it was, it was 4, right? So I want to k sum all the values, regression values of the given training examples with the nearest neighbors divided by k. So this will give our predicted value for the query instance. If it's a classification problem, we will go with the majority class. So let's say out of this four, okay, if it's a classification problem, let's say it, the first belongs to positive, second belongs to negative, negative, negative and positive, right? Sorry, we have only four, right? Okay, so we have the case where the majority of the neighbors belongs to negative class, correct? So in this case, y hat of q will be assigned to negative class. Right? The prediction will be negative class. So, our x cube will be assigned to a negative class. Okay? So, this is how we approach a classification problem. Now, there are some problems associated with this approach. How we calculate the majority or how we calculate the regression value uh, based on the distance matrix that we use. Generally, the distance matrix that we use, right? So, that will be generally Euclidean distance. Okay? So, a distance matrix generally will be Euclidean. So, there are some problems when we use Euclidean distance or just plain distance with respect to k nearest neighbors that I will be covering in my next video. So, till we see in the next video, happy learning. Bye bye.